What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Legacy. For the PC, of course. I'm not sure if it's on other consoles, honestly, so I shouldn't have said of, of course, but... <clears throat> In the last part, we died a lot. That's about it. We didn't make much progress. Um, I think I did get two pieces of armor. I didn't even get a, a new weapon or anything. I did get a couple upgrades, but that's about it. We got up to level 9, so it's half decent. Uh, so let's, let's see. Hmm. Let's try a knave. I think that's how it's pronounced. I haven't. Tr I don't think I've used a knave yet. Uh, Seventy can't do much. So I did look up, as promised, a review of this game. Um, I looked up a couple of reviews. Honestly, I looked up uh, Pro Jared, Dookie Shed, and Polygon's review of this game and I've learned quite a bit honestly um the traits motherfucker already starting this shit already sucking at the video games did I not learn anything last time so I learned that these four bosses are in four different worlds so this castle or this four different areas so this castle must only be one of the four which would explain why this game is damn near 17 hours according to how long to beat. Traits, according to them, aren't don't really mean that much. There are some that can basically ruin an entire run, but all this game is is really dying a lot, getting your gold, learning how to play, and learning um, how enemies work, so on and so forth. I did not look up how what the average level is. <sighs> what the average level is for people who beat the game their first time. Okay. Barbarian, mage, mage. So personally for me, I'm learning that I'm always gonna pick the barbarian or the uh, paladin. Because they're generally the ones that are half decent. Now, when I get the gold I need, I'm going to get one of those upgrades for, uh, I don't remember what it's called, so I'll, I'll point it out when I get there. But uh, it essentially keeps the castle from randomizing the next turn, or after you die. Oh, shit. And I think that would be really nice to have. Honestly. So that I can kind of, like, get some decent items and shit. Okay. Ah, there's, like, fucking three of them. I should see- I keep forgetting about the sights and shit. But no, I- I'm still getting used to this game. I haven't- really had too much time away from it. I took about two hours away from the game and I went and watched a shitty movie. That's about all I did. My recommendation to everyone is if you... Journal entry number two. Wow. Didn't expect to see this. Although I am the eldest child, I am not the father's favorite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. Victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my child shall move back to the royal quarters. Back to the royal city where we once began. Back to the royal city once where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and the petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow as we pass. But I am getting ahead of myself. 
I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. Yeah. Like I was saying, if anyone ever has any if anyone has any entry interest in watching The Seventh Son, unless you find it for a couple bucks, I really wouldn't. Especially if you read the last apprentice books growing up. Or not even growing up, just ever read them and you really liked them. Because that's that's how I was. I read those books and was like, whoa, they made a movie off of one of my favorite book series growing up? That's amazing. I watched it and it was awful. Basically, the only thing the movie had in common with the books was just names. Even then, like, if you're familiar with the books, the only... Oh, I'm out of magic. Like, I don't know. Bony Lizzie was the big, uh, the big enemy? Or no, Mother Malkin was. And if memory serves, uh, the big enemy in the, in the series was, god damn it. The big enemy in the series, in the book series, was Satan, if I remember correctly, the devil. So, I don't know. I, I understand they had to condense it all into one single movie and all, but, uh, I'm gonna die here, right here now. Yep. I understand they had to condense it to a movie, but still, you could have just gone off the, the vents of the first book. Um, they had, uh, they basically turned it into an action movie. It wasn't even all, it wasn't even a horror, a plot-driven horror film. It was just, eh, here's some bullshit information. Let's create an action movie. Really? No paladin? <sighs> so going back to the, the level things. Um, I can't even do anything with the 120 gold I have. It's sad. Uh, so, what was I saying? Shit. Oh, as I, from what I saw when like Pro Jared reviewed, uh, great, great, I got some fucking health recovering item there of all places. From what I saw on Pro Jared reviews and everything, um, I'm just gonna YOLO this. I did see them playing around uh, level like 130 in the game, which leads me to believe that... Can I? I can't destroy that. Which leads me to believe that it's going to be quite some time before we get to a point where we can possibly beat the game. Ugh. I also feel like I, I need to get a good luck with the randomizer because some of these uh, levels are the layouts. Some of the layouts just aren't in my favor. There we go. Nice. I'm already really low on health though. Oh, journal entry three. Nice. I've paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil Charon has taken all that I own as payment. He's even pilfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children with nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who hazard the deaths of the castle. He says it's fair. It is fair because of all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. Sorry, I keep I keep like spacing out because I've I've been awake for like 14 hours and probably not going to bed anytime soon. I will be victorious. Victorious? Victorious. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I. Even amongst my siblings, I still rub wieners with my older brother. Interesting to know. 
very interesting one out. Motherfucker! Here I am. I'm gonna wait for you to come down here. Right? I get a bag of money? Ah. Nothing. Yeah, as I'm playing more, I'm realizing it's kind of easier. It's getting easier to fight some of these guys, like the bony guys and the knights, because I know their movements. The only enemies I'm still kind of terrified of are the nice. Not terrified, but uncertain of what, whether or not I'll win a fight in is the mages that spit fire and ice, or summon fire and ice, I guess, and the portraits, because <laughs> I've died to the portraits more than anything. Oh, Jesus. I don't... What is that? That is a new enemy. quite reach him from here. Oh, I can. Jesus, level 24. Oh. I will survive. No, I won't. God damn it. I was so close to it, though. And there was a chest right there, too. I still want to know what these runes are that uh, the game is referring to. <clears throat> okay, what do we got? A barbarian? Uh, fuck the knaves, really. Just fuck the knaves. B throws chakram? Oh, oh, that's what that is. So I unlocked a trait that time out of the chest. I thought it was a permanent, like, uh... I don't know, side weapon. Okay, so I'm gonna unlock the architect. So I can lock down the castle at later points. I'm not gonna do it now. Because I really didn't like the layout of that last one. But if I get to a point where I like find the boss or find a chest that or multiple chests that I wanna get, I'll probably use it. Um What's an upgrade? Oh, okay, here's the runes. I might as well go for it. I should have read that. God damn it. Well, future James will, uh, future James from like a week and a half now will probably read it during editing. Or I can talk to her now. Hello, hero. Could I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be a very powerful enchanter enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you be if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and then I'll sell it back to you for a profit. Okay. Gain the power to dash short distances. Okay. That's a lot of runes. How are we going to map all these to buttons? Or are we only allowed to equip certain runes? Oh, it's it's runes per weapon. Okay, it's kind of like Monster Hunter. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Very interesting. I don't think I can use the 70 for anything. No. Greetings, boy! Wanna know cool fact? I'm crazy! This lever here? With a simple pull, I can prevent this castle from changing. This way you can go through exactly what your ancestors went through. Impressed? You should be. How did I build this fantastic contraption? With science, of course. And magic. Mostly magic. But my skills aren't free. 
If I lock this castle, I will take 40% of all the gold you earn. Not now. Like I said, not now. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and I'm starting to get what Dookie Shed was saying about the characters kind of being funny in this. <laughs> Even though it's only really been one character so far, but like how many more main characters am I gonna meet? Let's be honest here. What's down here? Oh, oh. Yeah, that, that was no fun. Ugh! I couldn't jump over it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that was going on. Okay, gold. I like gold! Do the Great Knights just not give anything or is that just me? Oh, never mind. There's gold. Okay. Anything of interest in here? No? Okay, that's cool with me. Yeah, I'm starting to get the appeal of this game. This is actually really fun. Even though it's difficult and I'm not really making any progress. It's the kind of fun that... If I don't... Fuck me. I mean, if I don't fuck me, that's no fun either, but uh... If I don't make much progress after a certain amount of time, I think it's just gonna get old doing basically the same thing after some time. If that makes sense. Sort of like, uh... Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think of something. Sort, sort of like Flappy Bird. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe that's that's maybe I only that's the only thing that came to mind because of uh, I did, I recorded uh the last part of Super Mario. Uh, land today. I'm sorry, I'm like trying to figure this maze out. Damn it. Oh, I'm getting greedy. Ugh. I need to deal with you. Let's get this. Gold! Wow, I'm getting a lot of gold this time around. Okay. I'm liking this layout this time around. Maybe I'll, uh... Hashtag freeze frame. <laughs> next time around. That's what we're gonna call it. Because I'm having a hard time for some reason remembering the man's name. Oh shit. Didn't I just get MP? Not more. Wow, it doesn't even give that much. It gives like 4 MP. Hello. How are you, friend? Oh, you're Bernie. Bernie Mac. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I just realized what I was standing on. Spikes are not coming up there, and that's slightly bothersome because I know I'm gonna get comfortable with the wrong place at the wrong time and it's just gonna be a grave mistake MP recovered why did I try to do that oh boy I'm about dead Swing? You wanna sing? Swing, big boy? Which way do you swing? Okay, well. Ah! I didn't think he was gonna swing his giant dick. Oh, but see that—that's a massive improvement there. Ah. Oh. I'm trying to keep these episodes down to about 20 minute episodes, cause goddamn, 
I don't I don't want to make these episodes extremely long for people. <laughs> uh, we're going to cut that episode there because I think it's been 20 minutes now. 21 minutes, I think. So, in the next part, everybody, we're going to do some upgrades and we'll probably freeze the castle or whatever it's called. Keep it from changing. Keep it from randomizing. And uh, we'll, we'll have a choice of a paladin next time. Holy shit, we've actually got a paladin. And the trait is dwarfism. This should be fun. Don't miss out next part. <laughs> have a good night, everybody.